is a medical student come physician in training. <laughs> then I pledge my utmost effort. I was built to be the best, number one and nothing less. Lead me to my destiny. I have waited patiently. I have vision, oh I believe. I know I can count on Jesus. Oh I have vision, oh can't you see? I'm on the move, make way for me. Stand up, stand up for the champion. You're still here, and you get another chance this day to do better and be better. Another chance to become more of who you were created and what you were created to fulfill. Everyone in the world is capable of living outside the role. Everyone is bigger, much bigger, infinitely bigger than the roles they place themselves in and is capable of reaching potential greater than anything they could imagine. You can live the life you desire. It's right there in front of you. But in order to achieve it, you must first see it then believe it, and then you must graciously ask and train your brain to help you execute your vision. So when you start to focus and you delete distraction from your life, and you start to get seriously invested in doing one thing staggeringly well, and you practice that one thing over and over, a term to think about is mundanity. You do one simple, seemingly insignificant thing every day around your main skill, and it's very mundane, but small daily improvements over time lead to world-class results. A great life is built not by revolution. A great life is built by evolution. Small and steady wins the race. What you do every day is far more important than what you do once every decade. I want you to really think about that idea. What you do every day is simply your life in miniature. And as you live every single day, so you're crafting your life. What you do over the next hours is really building your future. And if you can just get every single pocket 24 hours right as best as we humanly can the rest of our life is going to take care of itself so small wins matter the scripture says we will eat the fruit of our words you are planting seeds when you talk at some point you're going to eat that fruit my challenge is make sure you're planting the right kind of seeds if you want apples you have to sow apple seeds. If you want oranges, you can't plant cactus seeds, poison ivy seeds, mushroom seeds. You're going to reap fruit from the exact seeds that you've been sowing. In other words, you can't talk negative and expect to live a positive life. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk lack, not enough, can't afford it, never get ahead and expect to have abundance. If you have a poor mouth, you're going to have a poor life. If you don't like what you're seeing, start sowing some different seeds. You cannot let a fear of failure, or a fear of comparison, or a fear of judgment stop you from doing what's going to make you great. You cannot succeed without this risk of failure. You cannot have a voice without the risk of criticism. And you cannot love without the risk of loss. You must go out and you must take these risks.